Hello and welcome. Let us briefly discuss about GitHub for web designers. I know I'm teaching the web design course and I should teach some of the resources. If you know it already, feel free to skip it. So what is GitHub? If you open GitHub, GitHub will look something like this. So if I open it in incognito mode, as you can see, built for developers. This website is built for developers because you can share your code here, your open source and all of code. Uh, uh, you can find open source project here. You can find closed source project here. Of course, you cannot see their their source, and you can upload your own projects here. How it is going to work? Most uh, open source applications are here. People come from different uh, region on the world. They can work on one project. This is the goal of the GitHub. They collect all those uh, information from all over the world. For example, if you see any projects let's uh, see one of this one the control group the voyager as you can see this is a project and on this project multiple people work we call them contributors contributors as you can see it is one has 414 contributors and all of those uh, people are from different uh, region of the world and they contribute to the project they work on one project and all of those projects are uh, here this is one of the example even Microsoft and most big company use github to put their big projects and you can uh, refer to project as a repository in the github as you can see this repository when I say repository it means any projects on github so uh, last year I think uh, Microsoft was the first company who had the most open source projects on github so this is one of the site that big companies use and the good thing about this is you can download the source under their license and if i come down mostly all of this has a uh, mit license unless they uh, mention them in their documentation if you could go to any of the projects here clone you can download the source code you can view the source code in the same directory the folders the all the files and uh, what else it has is you can store the projects if you store them it will be saved as you restore later you can see them and you can bring changes you have the fork option fork means you make a copy of this and start editing and then start contributing to the project if you are a good programmer you can start uh, contributing and uh, help other developer uh, develop a better application some of the applications are good but they do not have a good developer they remain the same if you are a good if you are a good developer you can help them here it will show you i will just show you the important places on github it will show you the last commit means the last changes they have brought to this project was two hours ago it means this project is very active and you can come down they have a readme.md file almost every project here has a readme that md file it will be stored here here is the readme.md and it is going to be the documentation of their projects this is the project how you install them how you use them how you can configure them almost all of them will be there i recommend you to make your uh, profile here if you go to your profile it will show you all the projects you have already built for example i have built two and uh, these are called repository i have four repositories i have stored 300 129 projects i have followers and then following like that then you can create your projects here it will show you your activity i know i don't have much activity but there are some projects the green the more green it is the more activity you have and it will be displayed here i don't have much activity on github but uh, you should have a lot of activity here because if you want to apply for any job they will ask you your github account if you don't have then they will not even uh, even uh, hire you because github is very important every developer must have it if you rank you should see the ranking of their website it is 63 on the world it means how many people are using this one it is very very popular website so this is all about github and how you use this one of course there is many more thing about we will discuss in the next video about git and how it git is related to github so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching